here's an idea. What if Bitcoin is the Titanic of cryptocurrencies? Unhackable, unsinkable, or not? Because at its core, it's just a math problem. And so when I learned that there's this type of computer that didn't exist yet, but could solve problems that we couldn't solve with our digital, you know, all of the computers we had, I was just fascinated. I We're always told that Bitcoin is unhackable. And in today's world, with today's technology, that's true. But it won't be true forever. And that's got people worried. In this video, we'll explain why quantum computing is a real threat to Bitcoin security, why it's closer than you think, and what people are doing to keep crypto safe. Today's Bitcoin wallets are encrypted by math that's so complex that breaking it would take a supercomputer longer than the universe has existed. But the next phase of computing, being built in labs by Google, IBM, Microsoft, and many others, could shatter that security in hours, not millennia. I'm talking about quantum computers, and in due course, they will change everything about cryptocurrency security. Bitcoin security relies on something called public key cryptography. Think of it like this. You have a public address that everyone can see. That's where people send you Bitcoin. But you also have a private key that only you know. That's what lets you spend those coins. The genius is that while you can easily generate a public address from a private key, doing the reverse is practically impossible. Just like trying to unscramble an egg. Bitcoin uses something called ECDSA encryption on the SECP 256K1 curve. Fancy words that basically mean the math is so hard that even the world's most powerful supercomputers would need millions of years to crack it. But here is where quantum computers change the game entirely. Quantum computers don't work like your laptop. Instead of processing information as either ones or zeros, they use quantum bits or qubits that can be both at the same time. In 1994, mathematician Peter Shaw developed an algorithm that could use quantum computers to break the exact type of encryption Bitcoin uses, able to solve in hours what would take today's computers millennia. And the discrete log problem is one which, if you look at public key crypto systems, there are some public key crypto systems that the discrete pro log problem is the key to breaking it. If you could solve the discrete log problem, you could break the crypto systems. But a reality check, we're not there yet. Today's most advanced quantum computers, like Google's Willow, are impressive, but they're nowhere near powerful enough. And when I say impressive, I mean nothing less than wow. Here's Google's Julian Kelly. We've pitted Willow against one of the world's most powerful supercomputers with the random circuit sampling benchmark. The results are pretty surprising. By our best estimates, a calculation that takes Willow under five minutes would take the fastest supercomputer 10 to the 25 years. That's a one with 25 zeros following it or a time scale way longer than the age of the universe. This result highlights the exponentially growing gap between classical and quantum computation for certain applications. Even so, current machines are noisy, error prone, and the fastest quantum computers from Microsoft and Google currently have thousands of qubits, not millions. To actually break Bitcoin's encryption, you'd need around 13 million physical qubits working perfectly together. So when should we actually worry? Here's what the experts are saying. In 2025, quantum computers with over a thousand physical qubits already exist. By 2028 to 2031, the US government predicts quantum computers will have the potential to pose some risk to current levels of security encryption. Progress is slow though, because quantum computers are at the absolute leading edge of the world's technical capacity. They're immensely expensive to produce and must operate in physical environments that don't actually exist in nature. Let's let Google scientist Ashley Huff explain. The colder you get. If we start at room temperature, 50 Kelvin, 10 Kelvin, 3 Kelvin, which is outer space now for a reference, 1 Kelvin, 0.1 Kelvin, 
0.01 Kelvin. And this year below the plate is where we actually mount the quantum processor. Literally the coldest places in the universe. Given the slow pace, the US government isn't planning full migration to quantum safe systems until 2035. The US National Institute of Standards Technology has already finalized new post-quantum cryptography standards. These are the encryption methods designed to withstand quantum attacks. Here, recorded in 2021, Security Chief Matthew Scholl gives the Institute's take on the matter. Once access to practical quantum computers becomes available, all current public key algorithms and associated protocols will be vulnerable, potentially exposing your encrypted information to criminals, competitors, and other adversaries. Relax. We know. It's no time to panic. It's time to plan wisely. For over 50 years, NIST has set the standards in cryptography, from DES to triple DES to AES, and post-quantum encryption will be the same. Are you reassured? It's no time to panic. So this isn't a crisis happening tomorrow, but it's also not science fiction. Quantum computing is advancing rapidly, and the timeline for quantum-resistant Bitcoin is likely shorter than many people realize. So the question isn't if quantum computers will threaten Bitcoin's current security, it's actually when, and whether the crypto ecosystem will be ready when it does.